evening. Welcome to the Lap and Monkey Music Show. Chelly Van Lindy how are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Good. I'm, I hope I said your name well enough as my poor uh, pronouncing of your, your, your beautiful name. People who don't know, um, Lindy is a, a beautiful singer and I have a pretty young album. And we're going to dig into it and talk with the album. And hopefully, people that aren't aware, check out the album with her and you know, partner duo. But she's also some other work too. So this is uh, hopefully this is the beginning of a, of a musical adventure. So let's talk about the album and who who is your co your partner on the album with? Let's talk about who they are and their writing. Yes. Uh, so the uh, the partner I write with his name is Roy Ole Furland, and he is doing the synths and the programming. So we have basically been sending ideas to each other's throughout all the corona uh, time and uh, we were sitting in yeah. each other's living room and just sending things and we found out that that was actually a very new uh, way of working and it was a bit felt a bit lonely but we uh, we uh, built up under the loneliness so this time we haven't had um, that much guests we have had mm. uh, more guests on the on our uh, album that was before this one more of this one we wanted to keep the kind of lonely feeling. You know, yes. that I guess everyone was feeling a bit lonely maybe on in the corner. So we found out ah oh, it's a bit it is something to maybe work in that way also to kind of feel this lonely and a bit cold and see what can come up. So that's now we have only since we have uh, he's also been programming when we have additional um a little bit of uh, this traditional Norwegian. Um, uh, yeah, it's not a fiddle, but I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm a bit tired no. today. So that to to okay. remember all the names, but you know, it's a uh, yes. And we have uh, also drums, additional drums. So it sort is... of by Sondre yeah. Verland. Yeah, yeah Sondre Verland on drums, uh, and uh, we also have uh, producer Eva Sonde, and uh, yeah. A couple of other guests, so you will hear throughout that. So album. you're also playing the, the mm. synthesizer, also, right? So you're playing synthesizer and writing too. Or are you just doing just your vocals on this album? I do. Uh, I do on this album. I only uh, do vocals because I am. Uh, before I started to singing, I was actually playing synthesizer. So I was. Mm. That's what was my main in instrument before. You know, when when I was little, and when I was too shy to sing myself so but uh i enjoy singing this these days and i've been enjoying only singing actually and making choir arrangements and so, it's amazing so, but i'm working very it's, well together with uh it is it's a beautiful album it's kind of nice that it actually the timing came out it came out after covid so everyone's not so lonely because the album is so powerful and 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 yeah. like melancholy-ish that if I was in COVID listening to it, I'd be really bummed out because I feel so alone because it is so powerful. It really has that emotion. Oh, so, you know, it's it's a good thing. It's I think the, the best thing about music yeah. is you feel it. You know, so it, it shows that that that's where yeah. it is. And it's good to hear also that you can actually feel it. Yes, and it's good that. Uh... It's it's good that you actually. Um, I will tell Royola that you could actually hear that. That's where it's coming from, and we have been joking a bit about it also. Like in the on the last song on the album, it's a glimpse of hope in all the sadness. You know, there it well, was. <laughs> but but said, um, yeah, I said melancholy because to me, melancholy can be really sad, but also have a little happiness, like a like a, a line through it of happiness. You know what I mean? Like it just feels like you're kind of. You know, you're sad, but there's always a little hope. There's always hope, I always feel. So to me, the music feels very emotional, though. Always be like... hope. Always hope. And it's, it, but it is. So, like, when you, when you guys write the music, do you afterwards sit down, maybe more for this album, you write the lyrics afterwards, or is it different for each album, when you, for you, any of your projects, but for this one in particular? Yes. Uh, in For this one... Um... I always write the lyrics afterwards uh, because I uh, I feel that it's, um, for me, it's like I need the melody line to be free first. 
-hmm. But the lyrics and the words for me is very important, although I use very few sentences sometimes. Uh, I think lyrics are as as important as the melody in itself. So on this particular album, I actually traveled to um, Portugal because I've never been there before. And I like to go out in nature. And see, so that was after Corona, and that was after everything was set, you know, with the melodies and with the synths and stuff. Then the Corona was not there anymore, and I could travel to, it was actually in February last year. So yeah. I was away for one month, and just to see what was happening, really. I was just walking and walking and walking for hours each day, and I didn't know, I, I, I was lucky. Okay, I will say this, I was lucky, and I got some fundings to do it, otherwise I couldn't. Well, yeah. Justify being away. Yeah. The lyrics finished when I was there, but that mm-hmm. didn't happen. Uh, it took me some time. I, you know, I'd been writing all these small sentences here and there, and on, and I didn't just, it didn't, I didn't know what to do with them. But then, right before we were going to studio to record this, you know, with with the lyrics on it, then right, then the words just came. Yeah. But it is based on that, um, you know, just traveling and together with this, finding together with this loneliness feeling that we talked about. So something, it's, hope, hope in there. The, the lyrics you hear, in, 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 it's very, the whole thing is like a solid piece album. It's not, I mean, you know, obviously like, it, to me, it is our singles album. It's not a singles, it's a full piece to me. I like to listen to full albums. So, so a, a piece of music like this is 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 what I enjoy because, you know, I'm not usually looking for singles. I want a whole album from the beginning to end. I want ex- like it's an experience, you know. You know, pack your lunch. It's going to be a day. I want to listen to the yeah. album. And I want to be involved yeah. in it, so you can feel it. And and the way you write is a little different than a lot of people that that I, that I interview with. So it's kind of neat. So will you guys do the music and then you do the melodies with it, and then you come up with the mel- then you come up with the lyrics that fit the melodies afterwards. Interesting. Yes. What happened is that. I always make the melodies melodies myself. So the melodies mm-hmm. are, uh, it's always me that is making, you know, what they sing. And right. and uh, sometimes I sing the melodies and choir arrangements and without any instruments and I send it to Oyula. And sometimes yeah. he has some drones or some kind of themes that he sent to me and then I make a melody on that. Yeah. But we never, we haven't, uh, we have had a few, uh, Few years we are just jammed, but that was when yeah. it wasn't Corona. So it was just jamming, and then just it happens. You know, he's playing something, and and I I sing. But it's uh, I think it's real. We re- we we really like to work fast when we make melody. So it, it's based on he he either sends something to me, or I send something to him, and within a few hours we have sent something to each other. You know, answered right. the. The music, I, so it's um, hmm. I see. I, yeah, I think so, the delay would make me crazy because I'd want to keep working on something. When I have an idea, I'd want to keep working on it and then send it and be like waiting exactly. for an hour. I'd be like, "Come on, let's go," you know. Exactly. You know I mean? like, exactly. And it's so good to yeah, it's so good to have someone. Uh, of course, I also work with others that we have the same pace, but it's so good uh, with us with Royal. We have the same pace. We work that way that go very fast because you can always do things you know do differently later but just to get um yes you know maybe you say you said yourself you are in the a certain mood and you just want to yes. to continue mm. yeah it's definitely that and it's interesting so like being shaped into the, the melody into the lyrics because a lot of times it's the other way around it's the lyrics they make it fit the melody fit the song so yes doing it do it the melody first and then making the lyrics fit that. Are you flexible yes. somewhat with yourself by that point? Or is it are you like, no, I gotta make the words fit and this is a melody, it's it's you know, it's in stone. Then then these lyrics we gotta make it fit somehow, type of deal. Or you're like I'm well, all, kind of changing. Well, I'm always flexible. Yeah, I'm okay. always flexible. I'm not afraid of uh, changing things. But it happens, it it hasn't happened that it has changed. <laughs> but I haven't been thinking about it. That's because eventually the right words comes up. That's what I'm used that's, to. It's interesting because a lot of people don't, don't do it that way. So to me, it's very, very interesting to hear this for the first time. I mean, some people do like a little of everything, but to do a whole album like that and do the melodies and then go back and do it the way you've done it, 
It's very interesting. Did you have the music with you when you did, when you went for walks and stuff to be inspired by the music, or are you just walking quiet? Like, did you have the rough mixes of the no, album that you're working on I, I, to be inspired? I, I no, I I don't. Uh, then I listen to a uh, kind of tech know from the 90s or so all <laughs> other music that I'm working on for the most part yeah. uh, actually because that is also because I don't want things to stiffen or to be too I want it to be alive mm -hmm. and if uh, and that's why if I if I listen to the same music over and over and over again or, or our music then I think yeah. I will start to get um yeah not free yeah so I don't I, cool. I don't it's it's, it's interesting. Just, uh, it's funny it's, it's, to think of you doing that. To think of you doing, um, like listening to you know techno or pop music, writing the lyrics for this album, which is so mellow <laughs> and emotional. Going through the yeah. words, it's funny. It's, it's you know like a juxtaposition. The way it goes, the opposite. Uh, it's kind of fun that way. And you actually, I see you pop. When I, when yeah, I, but uh, through you, the video is very nice. Is that a a full concept from you guys, or is that the record label? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just we we uh, got to um uh yeah from the new besides besides it's only um uh the one that is called the lake. Then the record yeah. company found some of that. Uh, uh, that's a wonderful also uh, video maker. But the one that we use that is a friend of us. Uh, mm -hmm. His name is Ferruccio Goya, and he's Italian. He moved to uh, Norway five years ago, and oh, he's our. Uh, yeah, we have a very good uh, working relationship. So, and also I have a, also a good friend called uh, Mai Husby that also uh, some years ago made a video for um, Seafarer. So, we that's are, a beautiful one too. We are uh, like to work together with artists. Yeah. So, um, well, but on the latest the videos, nature, it's Ferruccio Bola. You know. Yeah, we have right. It's right it's outside my beautiful. door. Really, it's it's beautiful. But, do, you, you know, do you find it a challenge if you want to do something different, though? Do you think, like, because are there like are there, are there like limitations to your creativity there? Where like being normally like because either like like you have scenery, but you want to do something different. You you can't do something different in video or musically because do you know what I'm saying do you think there's any constraints musically or or video wise even like uh, being creative? No. No, and that, no, because for example, the video with her, I always, um, or, or we, we let him um, have his own ideas to see what do he gets out of our, if he listened to our music, what do he get out of it? So okay. we were very curious to see the last time, for example, on the whisper, what do he, what he picked up on what it was about, probably because he knows us now, he knows us a bit. Yeah. Uh, and also lyric wise, he kind of figured out that this is, you know, for example, for the Whisper video, mm -hmm. he figured out by himself that this is about the creatures in the nature or what the, he, yeah. he understood that. So so he uh, then used uh, some Southern Europe, his own ideas, you know, on how to yeah. get this together. So it's very exciting for us to, to, to work with other artists on the visuals to see what's happening there. So... Yeah. Do you think it, you've gotten more exposure now? And this is kind of, I think it's interesting. I think the music's beautiful. I've always liked um, all kinds of uh, other, other other countries around the world. But with the internet in the past, even the world got even bigger. And then even with COVID, but even prior to that, like a lot of like you know the Vikings or the Last Kingdom, and a lot more shows are geared from over you know on your side of the world now. Like has it has the exposure helped the music? Get out to bigger people now like more people are kind of getting it that wouldn't get it besides your your native country or the surrounding countries do you know what i'm saying I, I guess so it's yeah i guess so because um you know it's 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 always like that isn't it that if it's a tv show that is just remember in the 80s it was yes. a huge thing with japan i'm you know i'm that old i'm, yep. I'm almost 50 now with, um, with japan so, yeah. and i guess maybe it's yeah, you had the show Shogun, and you have it that is up and going now soon again. You had, I remember that series. Yeah, and it's like if something, and then 
it gets exposed, the culture gets exposed because maybe be, before the series, uh, maybe not that man, many people knew about this Nordic music or I've heard it before. Or... Right. And that's what I mean, because sometimes it's not be like, so many people. Like, I don't know if you felt a different, like if you saw the difference over the past couple of years with more of those shows and movies being out there, more people are not like, oh, I enjoyed the movie, but they're like, oh, I really like the music. Like, like it's helped grow the music, not just be like a soundtrack. Like it's like I become a fan of the music, and this is a, a, a good exposure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. I was crazy. Yes, on so for example, on yeah, yeah, on on Vardruna, which I'm a, a part of that band. Uh, uh, of course, then I it's exposed, but uh, but um, at the same time with me and uh, Royulan, we di- we do uh, we don't. Um, we have, I think, we have a kind of another sound that is more like mm-hmm. into this alternative synth music, which is another thing again. So it has really helped with uh, Vardruna, I think. Yes, and it's uh, I love to be in Vardruna too. So traveling around the world and it's uh, magnificent, and uh, a bunch of really nice people there too, you know, in the band. Yeah. So, so it definitely, I yeah, it's definitely has uh, pretty. Helped pretty much, I guess. I, I like to see it while we can, while you can, while it's out there. I, I think it's good. I hope it stays like that. I hope it doesn't just become like a thing that people are, are exposed and then they, they kind of forget about it. And you know, it's because it's such a beautiful music. You know, I, you know. Yeah. Will you be able to do any touring hope. or playing with this with this project? Will you guys be able to do any, any shows? Oh yes, we are. We are um, been invited to. We are going to Cyprus. Next month, mm-hmm. so we have been. Nice. It's the first concert, yes, and we have um, other offers, but um, that's on the. What can I say? It's um, I'm not a business person whatsoever, and so it's not the ruler. Okay. So we have a management that is working with that, but it will happen. We will have concerts. Please. Okay, so that, definitely. Okay. Now, do you do you know the music like well enough, or like because you guys put it together? Like some musicians will say they do an album and then they go. Now I've got to go back and learn my songs. Like, because they're putting the songs together, they weren't learning them in the same way that we put them together. Are you, like, mm-hmm. going to have to, are you familiar with your songs, like, you really, from the beginning, or do you have to go back and, like, relearn your own music? <laughs> it will, uh, I always remember the melodies, always. But, yeah. of course, the problem for me is to, to, <laughs> to remember the words, but that will be, <laughs> my own words is ridiculous, but that's true. But um, it will. We have done it before. We did, did it with Hildring, and we will do it now. Also, we have to rehearse, of course. But right. we 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 do things a bit differently live, and sometimes uh, things get a bit, um, which we actually prefer. For you, and it gets a bit uh, uh, deeper or darker sometimes, and oh, more really? wild. Yeah. yeah. So that's. Uh, but we have a good team together now we think in the, in the band and we have some plans already good 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 well it's funny because like, yeah here are will be like I, a guitarist will be like i have to go back and go online and watch somebody else play my guitar parts so i can learn them again after so many years you just, you yeah. just start, you, know, you, you forget stuff you know if you're so intricate in what you do you can't just remember of everything. course you know. Of course, but that's I think that is a helpful thing because that, in my opinion, because that just means that you are not uh, stiffened up. Well, and, and, and that the other when thing you is, played I, it I, in the first time, it was free. right. Well, I think and to me the other thing with, with your style of music, it's not the normal one, two, two, four. Like it's got it's got a, a much more of a freer. It does have an atmospheric flow to it, so you don't feel like you're like totally into it. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's not it's, it's not as structured as as a regular pop song would be, which is what makes this more special because it's different. You know what I mean? Which would also make it either really easy or really hard yeah. to, to to remember. You know? Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> yes. the question. Yeah, but uh, yes, but it's it's funny that you say that because the second time I've heard that today, that someone oh, really? says to me that. Yeah, yeah. Someone says to me that the, the the melodies are very different, and it is almost like it doesn't go in time. But uh, but that is uh, for me, it's natural to say. I don't think I, I don't uh, read uh, 
more than uh, basic notes anyway mm -hmm. you know no yeah. thing so so um well, I think it's just a time, it's just a different it's a, it's a different structure. It's not the it's not the normal two four structure. It it has its own yeah. signature, obviously. I, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's all over the place. It feels like it has its own signature. It just doesn't feel like the normal, you know, cookie cutter way where it's easy for put on the radio, you yeah. just remember the sort the chorus, you know, it, it gets beaten into your brain. This has a different of a different journey yeah. musically, which you know, different yeah, is hard to learn sometimes. Maybe, yeah, but yeah, but I think it's, uh, I don't know, for, for me, I don't know Ola, because no, it's, but maybe the same. I've always, since I was very little, I've been listening a lot to music, you know, different kind of, every day, mm -hmm. because I had also this cassette player in my room. So when I was not outside in the, by the ocean, I, would, I was inside in my room listening to music. And that was literally for hours, I guess, yeah. each day. So I think it's, it's uh, I don't, I don't know. It's um, how to explain, but I think I'm so used to listening to music that it's like it's. Uh, I remember well, you know, melody lines and everything. I can mm -hmm. remember very well. It's only lyrics I have problems with, but I used to sing along with the synths if I wasn't playing the synths myself, oh. because I had an instrument also. So I was singing along, not with the melody lines for the artist, because I wanted to hear Deepish Mode, for example. I wanted to hear yep. uh, Dave Gahan sing, not me. So I was singing along with the uh, other instruments. <laughs> and then okay. maybe that has uh, contributed to... Your songwriting? I think, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's different. So it's, it's, fun. It's, it's fun. Mm. Um, mm. So this, is, this, is, this is your second album, right, together, I believe? I believe that's it. Is yes, one. it is together so this, with uh, yeah. Is this gonna be a long term thing? Like you guys are gonna keep doing albums like this between your work and his work, kind of keep keep this going, or does it just depend? I guess. Yeah, it will depend. I guess so because we are working very well together. So it's uh, but we are very busy people on each. Right. You know, he's a music teacher, and he's also traveling around. Which I'm just doing, but uh, but we we haven't been talked about quitting. So of course, I think we will make more music. In the I, I think you should. I'm I don't. I, don't I, I never say that. Yeah, definitely. No. But uh, well, I think I can say yes. We will make more music. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, there's no time. We already been that. thinking about. We already started. Oh really? Have more stuff. Well, that, that's my question. It's like, where would you? When you're writing this music, like be like, oh, I have this much music, I cut, I stop. Like, I can't imagine you not having a little extra or being like, I have an idea for another song. Like, it just feels like it's not going to just stop flowing out of you. Like, yeah. you start to feel like you're ready going to the next album already. You know, by the no. time you're talking to somebody at this part for you, talking, doing the press, most artists are like, yeah, I'm already working on my next album. I actually, <laughs> you know, it's usually they're they're already so far ahead of themselves. Yeah, you know, so that was the question. So you know, yeah, yeah. Of, uh, it's, uh, yes, it's uh, it has uh, it has started something already. Good. Good. I mean, there's a lot of projects. A lot of people do a lot of artists do a lot of different but, projects. Um, you you are out there doing a lot of other projects too. I see you're guesting yes. a lot of songs, which is nice. You know. Yes, I do. I, I love it. I've done that since the nineties. Actually, I've, I've um, been called in. Uh, you know, Bergen is a small city. So it's like, okay, there is that uh, singing lady. We can uh, hear if she can do something. <laughs> because I like to <laughs> I like to travel in my head. Before Now I can travel. I love to travel. Yeah. But earlier, I didn't, uh, for many years, I, I hadn't the money to travel at all. You know, no holidays yeah. or anything like that. But I was pretty good in traveling in my head. And when I then get asked for, uh, can you, here is this song. And it was maybe a kind of western song but in a cool way and then I could yeah. go into this uh, and I swear to you I could see you know I was daydreaming but I could kind of be among the cactuses and places yeah. I haven't hadn't been before <laughs> and then I like, just came a melody line and I've been so lucky that I had the opportunity to do that people have asked me to do this because I, I get free um you know, I can do what I want, basically. Because when I was watching the video for this album, the videos, this stuff, other videos that popped up, that also things that you had guested on. 
So I went back and I'd listened to them. So hearing you put your input with different bands, like guesting at different bands, was really kind of fun while I was mm-hmm. listening to this album. You know what I mean? Because it was, you know, such a diverse, you know, platter of, yeah. of um, songwriting for you and 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 um, vocals. You know. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and it's also that you know it can be it's exciting to see what comes. I don't uh, I don't have a set plan. I never have that for what to do. So just listen to things and then I see what comes up. And now I think mm-hmm. if I'm guesting on something, yeah. and that's very fun because it's more like using the voice as an instrument. And uh, sometimes I have words, sometimes I have not words. You know, so. but you have the freedom now. So that's that's the important part. They they always give you freedom. With, yes, with always. Or, otherwise, otherwise, I'm not the the right person to uh, to ask because I can't. I find it um, not inspiring to to mm. to follow. Some if someone tells me what to do, like all of them, uh, then uh, of course with Valdruna, you know, I, I I come with ideas here and there, but there was, are maybe some set melodies. That I know has made, but then I can I have some kind of freedom anyway, you know how to, yeah. you know there are elements I can put in here and there, but to, if it was like this and this, it has to be like this. It's better to ask someone else because there are people that are much better doing that than me. I, I right. I'm not. Um, no uh, no restrictions for you when you yeah. write. You need it wide open. Um, no, I, I want to thank you. This is this has yeah. been fun to talk to you. This this has been an adventure to me. Hearing, hearing your music and being introduced to you as an artist because I don't usually, you know, Thank get introduced you. to, to something so different. Um, it's beautiful. And I want people to check you out. It's March 8th, right? The album comes out March 8th, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to put the link. Thank you for, very much for having me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. I'd love to see you sometime. Um, the links and everything about the band and the artists will be underneath the show. So on YouTube and on the podcast, they can check and click and head right over. And support you but uh thank you thank you for being on the show today appreciate it